You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves and they're spilling in I wanna dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here again with another organization video. You guys seem to enjoy my fridge organization. So here is my kitchen organization. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like organization videos. Give this video a thumbs up so that I know that I can make more videos, organize my whole apartment for you guys. I definitely will. And with all that said, let's get into the video. So when it comes to trying to organize your entire kitchen, that is quite an ambitious project and you'll see that I did this over two days. I would say it probably took me maybe in total three or four hours but in little snippets. Unlike the fridge where you kind of have to do everything all at once, the kitchen you can do over a period of time. Side note, I store a lot of my appliances in cabinets. Let me know if you guys do that too. Living in a small apartment in New York City, I find it much easier to store my less lesser used appliances in cabinets, which basically is everything except my kettle, because if you know anything about me, tea is life. Do you drink tea or coffee? Let me know in the comments down below. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel the weak. So one way that I maximize the space in our apartment is to use shelving in some shape or form so you can see i have these wire shelves that i bought on amazon or other, a long long time ago and they actually there's a whole set that stacks up if you have seen my husband's closet reorganization video i will have it linked here you will see that i use these shelves in his closet and they're all stacked up and they're very versatile for shoes or clothes or whatever you need. We could do so many great things. So believe in me. I believe in you. And I just feel that this will be an upswing. So hear me out. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing our you can see me taking everything out which is really my first principle when it comes to organizing anything and you realize how dirty things are when you don't clean shelves so you'll see me cleaning the inside of the shelves the doors of the shelves the handles which are like high touch points uh, the sides everything a lot of these things we just forget so I haven't gone through this shelf for years and I found some interesting stuff let me tell you things that I had forgotten about and didn't even know we had especially dangerous things like hidden up there out of the reach from kids like matches and candles and uh, knives and I don't know strange things like that anyway it was good to go through everything give it all a really good clean <laughs> So I'm putting everything back, so satisfying, and now I'm organizing my little collection of masks because, well, who knew? Mask life. So we just have them by the door because you can't go anywhere without a mask. You can't get into any places and 
yeah, we've also accumulated a mass amount of keys, but I will say if you are still someone in 2020 who loses your keys, a, get a tile for your keys. I will leave the link down below. It's life changing. And B, have a place that you make a habit that you just hang up your keys as soon as you walk in the door. Another thing that I really like to do that I discovered through this organization is that I had salt that didn't have a lid. I have like two packets of icing sugar. Do you call it icing sugar or confectioner's sugar? In South Africa, we call it icing sugar. Uh, and I also had oats and everything. So I'm trying to consolidate everything by putting it into jars. You can see I'm pouring the icing sugar in there. And then I ran out of space and had to find another container. I love these glass jars. I have them in various sizes. I will find a link for them down below. They look great when you stack them all together and um, they also are kind of vacuum sealed in a way so they keep everything super fresh. Highly recommend. to tackle my nemesis the junk drawer the one that my kids fling open all the time uh, so they have access to it which means we have to be careful what we keep in there also haven't gone through these drawers in a long time so I'm taking everything out cleaning it all out drying it fully and then I can put everything back nice and tidily and I'm also just seeing what do we still use what can I get rid of what is old broken not working what needs to be moved taking all of our um, serviettes, napkins out. I actually don't have paper towels at all. I try really hard to use more sustainable products. You will see some plastic in my house, but I try and really uh, minimize our waste if I can. So I use, uh, I guess you could call them like cloth napkins, but serviettes essentially we would call them. Uh, that you can use and they work really well and they wash really really well so those red ones on there are the kind of ones we use on the daily and then I use little dishcloths in place of any kind of paper towel which really works well for us long-term solution for organizations so that you're not permanently doing this kind of thing is thinking about how you use the objects in your home so when I'm putting things back I'm really trying to think what do we use the most what do we need easy access to I don't want things to block the things that we use every day even though they might fit better in a more blocking way I really organize in a functional manner so you'll see even in this video I kind of organize things one way and then I decide and switch it up um, I also have kept most of the order that we are used to because obviously I don't live alone and there are multiple people in my house that are going to be looking for things including my kids so by not having things in completely different areas to where they were before a, a few things have moved and that's okay uh, but not having things in completely different areas definitely decreases the frustration and allows me to be able to organize otherwise I would never be able to get away with what I do I use a lot of
lot of alternative reusable products that I believe are more sustainable and better for the environment. So if you would like me to do a little tour of those products that I like and use, let me know in the comments down below. What I'm rolling up right now, that silicone mat is one of those things. So I don't really use parchment paper when I'm baking and that, that mat I use all the time for baking and roasted vegetables. Awesome reusable liner for my baking tray. Then also, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know that I love hooks, specifically these command hooks. They save so much space and I highly recommend them for any type of organization that you have. So here's the final look of everything, my whole kitchen and then individually inside all of the cupboards. I love the way this turned out. I managed to really clean everything, organize, get rid of extras that I didn't need. And it feels so good to open my cabinet doors and see everything that I need without having to search for things. And just to know where everything is makes life so much easier and more organized and just saves you so much time. So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. Empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid Thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe like this video hit the notification bell and if you didn't know i have a free organization course five days to get your life in order sign up for the link down below make sure to keep looking out for things from me there are exciting things coming and with all that said i'll see you in my next video bye